From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good morning. Hope you had a nice day so far. Hope the morning is treating you nicely out there. Hope the coffee is tasting as good as ever. Looks like we actually have a little bit of a lull in terms of the precipitation that we saw from yesterday through this morning. So you might look outside and notice it's not quite raining as much. So for the first half of the day, I think that's true. But I think as we head deeper and deeper into today, past midday, well, we get back up into the lower 50s uh, for the morning, and then we get back up into the upper 50s through the valley, and maybe even lower 60s across the area. And then we pick that rain right back up. I really think it's coming pretty much right back at 1, 2, 3 o'clock, probably that time frame. It's kind of the time frame to watch for more heavier rain. At towards Siskiyou and Mudot County, of course, you see that rain trending upwards as you head later in the day, lower 40s out there. Out towards the eastern mountains, eking out of 50 as we head through 2, 3, 4 o'clock, and then, of course, that's the time frame where the rain moves in. Of course, as you head further east, it becomes later and later for the arrival times. Along the coast, though, it looks like it starts arriving earlier in the day, as expected, right? Highs in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Head a little further inland, you got those mid to upper 50s out there with the rain returning. Out towards Trinity County, might eke out a 50 as you head through this afternoon with rain sticking around in the later half of the day. Now, here is your future cast. So the first half of the day, like I said, not dry, not too bad, not too uh, rainy out there, pretty dry out there. East of I-5, even through midday, we're probably going to still be talking mostly dry conditions. But of course, as mentioned, as you head further east, it becomes later and later when the rain moves in. But check this out. We're talking today, 12 o'clock here. Notice that rain's already starting to creep into portions of Trinity and Humboldt County, even up near Del Norte County. Then it pushes in, pushes in pretty quickly. And then as we head through the day, that's whenever those heavier rainfall totals really become more widespread. And I think from here on out through about five, six, seven o'clock, that's the time frame the rain begins and it pretty much doesn't stop, at least for the next couple of days. We get this pretty steady northern flow here. So we're probably going to be talking rain through tomorrow as well. I'm thinking snow totals will probably be, or snow values will be stuck up there in the five to 6,000 foot range, but we might have locally lower. So we might see some 4,500 foot snow, to, uh, snow levels rather uh, across the north state there. I think most of us though are going to see this in the form of rain, maybe even some thunderstorms mixed into the batch. Look through Monday, you see those kind of isolated cellular type storms popping up. So we might have some rumbles of thunder mixed in there with some of those stronger updrafts. And frankly, I think we hold this pattern through Tuesday as well. So if we take a look at the bigger picture forecast, you can see through Tuesday, we have that kind of scattered activity across the area. But by Wednesday, check it out, Wednesday evening, that's when it becomes a little more isolated and really kind of breaks up. So I think by the time we're heading through Wednesday, the system's kind of breaking up. We're actually parting the skies, parting the water, so to speak, and we're actually getting a little bit better. So late Wednesday, conditions start to improve. Thursday, Friday beyond, looks like we're just fine. You see some patchy clouds, not seeing any huge issues to wrap up our week. Looks like we're going to be staying fairly mild or cool there. And then towards the weekend, we might be talking to system, but still, I think we have a good three, four day stretch towards the end of the week to look forward to with those better conditions. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the big picture. Out in Trinity County for today, we're going to be talking consistent mid 50s. Out towards Trinity Center, you're probably going to be talking mid to upper 40s there. Notice 47 up there. Winds out of the east at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Holding the rain steady for the next several days. Again, breaking up Wednesday. Wednesday is the time frame where it's going to start breaking the system up. And then past it, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's whenever we get those better conditions out there. And again, snow levels probably staying in about the 5,000 foot range. Might see some isolated locally lower spots across the area. I think that would be kind of isolated though. Now, hopping over to the coast, you see some 60s mixed into the batch there, holding steady with those rain chances through the next several days. Becomes more shower-like Wednesday, and then we have some pretty nice weather towards the end of the week. Holding steady near 60 pretty much throughout the week along the coast. You can really see that on the big picture. Upper 50s, lower 60s is kind of the story there, with lows just varying by about 5 to 6 degrees through the overnight as well. So it looks like we have a pretty steady week after Wednesday with those nice conditions to look forward to. Out towards Siskiyou County, again, of course, snow levels probably hovering in the 5,000 foot range. Breaking up just a little bit as we head towards Wednesday, falling in line with the rest of us with those nice conditions out there. As for today, Happy Camp at 56, Fort Jones there at 51, Wairika at 53, then you head out further east, you start getting back down into the 40s for your daytime highs. Hopping over to Modoc County, it looks like this is where it's going to be the driest, to be honest with you, as usual, right? Climatologically speaking, it's no surprise that this far north and east, you get those drier conditions out there, and I think it kind of breaks up probably into Tuesday and Wednesday, and you have those drier conditions for a more extended portion of the week. And we're probably going to stay in the upper 40s, lower 50s vicinity, much like today for the rest of the week. Eastern mountains, again, I think the snow levels will stay in that 5,000 foot range across the area, holding steady through at least Tuesday, scattered Wednesday, dry for the end of the week, and then widespread 40s across the area today. We'll call it 46 in Chester, over there at Westwood at 51, Susanville at 51 as well. You're eking out some 50s there, over there at Quincy at 50 as well. 
Now, hopping down to the valley, seeing what we have in store south first. Check out those 60s, kind of mixed into the batch there. Biggs down there at 60, Oroville at 63, Durham and Chico at 62 degrees, south wind at 10 miles an hour. Of course, that's where that moisture is coming from. And I think we hold this steady through about Tuesday, scattered Wednesday, drying out towards the end of the week with those lower to mid 60s returning. Very similar story for the northern portion of the valley as well. Check it out there at Lakehead at 54. Warm up as you head south, Bella Vista, Palcedra at 60, Anderson at 60 as well. And then, of course, Reading itself 59. But to be honest with you, you see a 58, 59 degrees. Give it one to two degrees of wiggle room. I think you'll be fine. You might eke out a 60 there. All right, so as the big picture goes, this is kind of a pretty good sense of it, right? I've been talking about it for this past couple of updates. First half of the week, wrapping up this weekend, rain. Last half of the week, a little bit more mild and dry. Thanks for watching this forecast update. I'll be back with you at noon, fresh from the Weather North Cal Command Center to see what we have in store for us, and I'll speak with you again soon.